All right, so how do you use adaptive cruise control and lane centering? Uh, the way you do that is you wanna make sure that you click this top right button. So that turns the adaptive cruise control on or off or just your regular cruise control. And when you click that, you'll see on the, um, the infotainment uh, screen right in the middle, at the bottom it says set. So the way you set your speed and what speed you want to cruise at is by toggling this up and you can set your speed. So now I toggle it up and you can see it says 57 uh, at the bottom left. Now it's going to maintain 57 as long as there's no car in front of me that's going slower. So I can bump that up to 62 for example. And right now I have lane centering turned on. So the way you do that is you click this button right here. It's a steering wheel with two lines on the side and that turns lane centering on. So right now you can see that even though I have it set to 62, um, it's going 60. That's because there's a car in front of me. So it's not only steering uh, the car, uh, you do have to keep your hands on the steering wheel and be conscious of what's happening this is a very empty highway so this is why I'm doing this video um, but as long as you kind of keep a somewhat you know decent grip on the steering wheel it's going to adaptively cruise for you so you can see there's a car in front of me and it's going below the set point right now because I've told it to keep a certain amount of distance now let's say I want to keep a bigger distance between me and the car in front of me. Uh, you would do that by clicking on this top uh, left button. It's a vehicle with dashes. So you'll see when I press it, it adds another dash to the infotainment screen over there. So let me go a little bit closer and I'll click it one more time and it adds another dash. And now the distance between me and the vehicle in front of me, it's a lot further, okay? So now if I want to change lanes, simply uh, just you change lanes as you regularly would. Uh, put on your blinker and you can change lanes and then it'll go back into the adaptive uh, cruise control um, and the lane centering mode. Uh, but if you touch the brakes, if you do anything uh, beyond just turning the, the steering wheel, it's gonna turn off the lane centering and the adaptive cruise control, okay? So, uh, with the Lariat trim, I forget what package it is, but you get the adaptive cruise and the lane centering. Uh, and then you also, if you don't want lane centering at all, you can actually opt to just keep uh, lane keep assist, which is not lane centering. All it's doing is anytime you're about to drift out of your lane into another lane, uh, it's going to shake the steering wheel for you so the way you do that is uh, I can click the button so I'll click this steering wheel icon with the two lines and you can see on the top uh, left right there it changes icon so now it becomes a car with two lines so if I press it again you'll see it's a steering wheel with two lines but now it's a car with two lines and all that is is Let's say I was to start drifting. Okay, it shakes the steering wheel for me. So as I started to drift, it shook the steering wheel and that's all it's doing. It's not controlling the steering for you. It's not centering it. Um, it's just telling you, hey, you're drifting out of your lane. Okay, so these are kind of the main controls. So you have your distance from the car. Uh, you have whether you want to do centering or lane keep. Uh, turning on adaptive cruise control, uh, canceling everything out is this X button right here, and then setting your speed and then increasing it is up, and then decreasing it is down, okay? Uh, and remember, again, turning the cruise control on and off, that's done through the left stock button right here. So you press that, uh, it turns on, uh, you press it again, it turns off. So that's for the adaptive cruise control and the lane centering features. All right, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, hopefully it cleared up some confusion. Uh, that's it. And uh, remember, shameless plug, if you guys haven't already looked into it, 
Uh, this is the cubby grid that I am selling on eBay and Etsy. Uh, you simply pop that into your cubby and you can attach uh, any vent phone accessory so that you have your phone directly up there. Um, so simply put, the way you would use that is phone clip. Put it in and that's it. All right, thanks guys.